All right, guys, we're here at Disney's California Adventure today. There's some foods that we've been wanting to try, yes. and today we're definitely gonna do it. I know, I'm so excited. So am I. There's some foods that Janelle and I have been telling ourselves mm -hmm. we're gonna try, and today we're here for that. I know, my <laughs> tummy's ready for them. Oh, she is hungry. <laughs> guys, we want you guys to join us today on this wonderful, wonderful world, world of food. food. Here we go. So here at the Fairfax Market, we're gonna try our first food. Beautiful, thank you so much. I'll eat. I'll eat. <laughs> I'll eat. Yeah, thank you so much. Bye. Ooh, look at this. Oh. The cheese, strawberry cheesecake churro. My goodness, is that mm. vibrant. I love it. <laughs> look at the strawberry cheesecake churro. Mm, look how it glistens in the sun. That looks delicious, doesn't it? Yes, it does. All right, let's try it out. Mm. Mm. By the way, just before we start, I wanted to say I love that casting. I love her voice. She's so nice. Right? Yeah, she she's sounds so like sweet. Snow White. <laughs> I know, she's so animated. I love it so much. <laughs> she's the, the sweetest person ever. She hyped me up so much for this, and she's right. It's so good. Uh -uh. So good. All right, so this doesn't really taste like a strawberry cheesecake, but it does taste like a delicious French toast with like strawberry preserves and some delicious graham cracker. You can definitely taste the graham cracker and the strawberry. And let me just say, I'm something you don't want to miss out on California Adventure. For all you Marvel fans, they have this really cool spot for you to take a picture of your real cool fan of the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. <laughs> it's so awesome. It is really cool. So yeah, bring your family, take a picture right here. Oh my gosh, it's Thor! Thor! He's doing his meetup over there. <laughs> all the kids are so excited to see Thor. That's awesome! And earlier we saw Captain America. We did. If you really love your Marvel stuff, definitely come and check out mm -hmm. Hollywood Studios or Hollywood Backlot. Should I say here at uh, Disney's California? What's your Adventure. favorite Avenger? Do you know? Ah oh, man, I probably have I'm to say Spider-Man. I love Spider-Man. Spider-Man is really cool. I think I'm going to Iron Man. Iron Man. Yeah, wow. Tony Stark all the way. That's true. He's pretty cool. Yeah, he loves us all. <laughs> Three thousand. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Three thousand. <laughs> Guys, take a look at these really cool Avengers Campus gates. Isn't that awesome? Looks like concrete, and right behind it is Gardens of the Galaxy Mission Breakout. That looks so cool. I'm excited for Avengers Campus. I really am. I can't wait for it to open. And that is something that's new too. Shimmers in the sun. Next to the Gardens of the Galaxy, they're going to have this Tehran Treats cart, which is really cool, <laughs> right? It looks awesome. Yeah. And they're going to have the rolled up churros here. So that sweet spiral ration is what it's called. Mm. And it's uh, basically a spiral churro. <laughs> well, anything with the churro on it. Mm, count me count in. Count us in. And they're also going to have a cosmic cream orb. That's what I'm excited Ooh. for. That's going to be awesome. My tummy's <laughs> ready for it. I know, we do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, Clarabelle. Good to That's see you. Okay, give us a spin. Oh my goodness. Yes, ma'am. Wow, yes. there you go. <laughs> she looks great. Hey, we love your ice cream, by the way. Don't think we forgot. Delicious. Oh, I know. Yeah, I know. I can tell. It's so good. Oh. My backpack, you see? There's ice cream. It's ice cream. Yeah, she Yay. loves ice cream. <laughs> Bye, Claire Bells. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Bye. Bye, Donald. <laughs> wow, everyone's out today. We saw Donald. We saw Claire Bell. Oh, it's good to see these characters again. <laughs> All right, so we're here at the Pacific Wharf. We're about to go into Casina Cucamonga. Yes, I heard there's some delicious new tacos you have to try out. I'm getting hungry now. Me too. That sure was good, but I want a taco. I want some food and some tacos. <laughs> Absolutely. Let's do it. Thank you. Wow. Oh, that looks delicious. Yeah. All right, so right here at Cocina Cucamonga, they have these new tacos de papa. Look at that. They have a nice slaw on top, a tomatillo sauce, and it also comes with a dairy-free crema, but I'm not really a fan of crema, so I asked for it on the side. 
I can't wait to try these out. They look so delicious. So these tacos de papa are pretty much potato on the inside. It's a fried potato uh, <laughs> on a nice oily fried tortilla. And it's got a lot of toppings too. Can't wait to try this out. Very crispy, very delicious. On the inside, it's nice and creamy potato. And what I do like is the outside, that slaw is nice and citrusy. So you do get that nice little hint of citrus right after you take a bite of this delicious papa taco. It's so good, I would definitely get this again. And honestly, I think it's one of my favorite things now here at the Cocina Cucamonga. <laughs> And I got the new quesadilla tacos with tomatillo salsa. It has some consomme on the side, some radishes, and you also have some limes. Ooh, and that's a beef, beef tacos with cheese inside. Here we go. What should I do first? Should I just dunk it in there? Ooh, and the consomme? Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna swirl it in there and just take a big old bite. These birria tacos with the consomme, and for those who don't know what consomme is, it's actually just a beef stock. Let me just save two of them together. They taste so delicious. You have the meaty, juicy, tender meat right inside, and that flavorful cheese. Let me just add some lime in there, give it a little bit of a citrus. You know I like my lime. <laughs> there we go. Who needs a spoon when you have a birria taco? Oh yeah. I'm glad I put the lime on there because it actually toned down a little bit of the spiciness from the birria and the consomme together. Let me just say, it's just, it's so delicious. I'm gonna try it out with some tomatillo salsa and we gotta go all in, right? That's how you do it, huh? That's how you do it. <laughs> just everything together in this way is so delicious. I mean, it is a little bit greasy, but I mean, if you're not, you know, not okay with that, then don't get it. But if I'm okay with it, it's so delicious. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. So right now at Cucina Cucamonga, they have a seasonal margarita and it's pineapple and orange juice. And it looks really nice and colorful, especially on this hot day, so cheers! I don't really taste the pineapple, but I do taste the orange juice. And let me just say, a little strong, but I mean, <laughs> nothing strong for me, you know? <laughs> it looks strong, I saw it in the look in your face. <laughs> It's a bit strong, but it's, it's good. It's refreshing, especially on this hot day. Hey, I hope you share because I like those strong uh, margaritas. <laughs> <laughs> then here you go. Thank Cheers. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is good. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so basically right now they also have an horchata. If you want to get yourself one, they have them here. I haven't tried it yet. I hope they're good. Yes. All right, so I remember last time I had an horchata somewhere in the park, and it was kind of watered down. It didn't have the horchata taste. This, on the other hand, does taste like an authentic horchata, and that's what I like. Also, they have these. These are char, uh, frijoles. frijoles charros. Charo. So they have frijoles charros here too that you can try. Uh, so inside there's chorizo, we got beans, we got onions. I wanna try this out, I wanna see if it's any good. I remember they used to have the citrus chicken here at Cocina Cucamonga. I don't know if they still do, but if they bring it back, this is gonna be something to pair it with. This is delicious and it's a side item and I would recommend it if you're craving beans. This is the place to get it here at Cocina Cucamonga. You know what I've been wanting to ride? What? Tormator's Junkyard, junkyard Jamboree. The Junkyard yes, Jamboree. it's so cute and it spins you in circles and you look like you're gonna hit people but you're not really gonna hit people. It's so cute and it's like been a very, we've been on that, very so. dramatic. But I love it, it's so much fun. <laughs> Let's it go. kind of makes you dizzy sometimes. A little bit, but it's still too much fun. So let's go ride it. Let's do it. Look at this cool shirt he got. Oh, thank you. I like a shirt. Sorry, I'm fixing my glasses because I fell off my face. Well, they always do that look now. Really nice. Just jump off. <laughs> thank you. Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, the line's moving without us. Yeah, I really like this shirt. I got it at the Wonderground Gallery. The oh, is so cute. I think I it looks it. okay, right? Yeah, it looks <laughs> Looks great. nice and red too. I love it. <laughs> All right, let's get a trailer. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to the cutest little this town. Is the one. In the <laughs> this is the one. Please read. Looks and good. <laughs> it's been such a long time since he's been in this ride. I'm, so I'm excited. excited. Yeah. Exciting. Here we go. Oh, we're going. We're going. We're moving. We're moving. Where's the music? I don't know. Where is the music? Where's the tambourine? <laughs> oh, no. Mater, where are you? Oh, my gosh. Oh, man. Oh, look. Oh. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, my glasses! Yeah, the G-forces are strong. <laughs> it's over! 
The jamboree <laughs> is over. No music for us this time, though. It's okay. No copyright that's going to be. Yeah. So they're going to start up this attraction a second time around. And it looks like everyone was happy because they didn't have any music. So this time, there's going to be some music. This We're gonna actually going to have a jamboree. A real jamboree. Yeah. <laughs> they got the music now. They Yay. finally got the music. Yeah, this is jamboree time. I'm trying to hold on so I don't do it. No. <laughs> Sorry. I don't care, it's fun. I'm literally like holding over here like ah, so I don't squish <laughs> squish you. Well we Sorry. do, I was squishing you up. Yeah, but I, I weigh a lot more than you. <laughs> that was fun, but I think I'm at a... It's okay. I'm sorry. I squished you. <laughs> no, I, I barely felt you. I know you felt me. <laughs> hey, Mickey. Hi, Mickey. <laughs> we love you. We love you too, Donald. So cute. <laughs> Right now we're at Smoke Drummer School because I heard there's a new brisket mac and cheese and it sounds so delicious. But they also have this new impossible chili waffle fries. That sounds pretty good too, huh? Oh yeah. Okay, are you that ready? That does sound good. I'm Let's ready. Do it. Let's go. So at Smoke Jumpers Grill, I got myself the brisket mac and cheese. And look, I also got myself this cute um, reusable cutlery set. Isn't that cute? And it's made out of wood, so we're gonna use that today because with a spoon, a knife, and a fork. And here's a knife if you wanna see that. <laughs> cute little pouch, you can just hang it. You can hang it from your pants, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and ready to go. It's a foodie, it's a foodie little like wand, you know? <laughs> Alright, so this is a brisket mac and cheese. And off the bat, I'm a little disappointed just because Look how much brisket on there. You see that? Barely any brisket. Barely <laughs> any. And the portion's kind of like the size of my hand. I mean, it is like $7. $7.49, so $8. Get a little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. Here we go. Mmm. Go ahead. Oh my god, that's good though. You know what it me they need? More brisket. <laughs> More brisket, but... It needs more texture, meaning like it needs like a little bit of crumbs, like a little bit of more of the bacon bits, like onion bits. Like I know they're trying right there, so little onions right there, little crispy onions. I need yeah. more of that. <laughs> but See, overall, that would have been nice if they put more. We might have just had like an off day and they didn't yeah, put that much. Yeah, I mean, I and mean, it's still pretty good. The mac and cheese is flavorful and very cheesy and creamy. You have the very, like the, like the saucy barbecue brisket right on top. But what I am missing is the, is the onions, like the crispy, the crispy texture, you know what I mean? But yeah, it looks good, yeah. but that is a little disappointing with the brisket. You never know. Maybe we'll come back again, and maybe they'll add yeah, a little more. Yeah, maybe we'll try it again next time. We'll add a little bit more brisket, a little bit more of the crispy onions, and maybe more of the mac and cheese. Just a bigger portion, but yeah, it's a pass for me. Aww. Sorry. <laughs> all right, so here at the Smoke Jumpers Grill, for all you vegans out there, they have the impossible chili waffle fries with a dairy-free cheddar. You also have some spicy mayo and some pico de gallo right on top. That looks pretty good. I <laughs> can't wait to try it. Let's see here. Using a reusable fork. <laughs> All right, a little bit of everything. That's actually pretty good. Now, for me, impossible meat, it's always on and off. Sometimes it's good, sometimes not too good. This is great. It actually does taste like regular chili cheese fries. Smoke jumpers, you got one. You got a hit here. Too bad about the brisket mac and cheese, but this is definitely a hit. <laughs> All right, so here we have the Blue Angelino cocktail. Look at that beautiful drink. So this is white rum, blue curacao, or jot sweetened coconut cream, pineapple juice, and simply orange. Oh, wow, that looks beautiful, right? So I'm gonna try this out right now. Here we go on this nice little warm day. Oh, <laughs> wow. Tastes a lot like a Mai Tai. I do get a lot of that coconut rum, uh, and I kind of get that hint of orange juice, a little nice tang. This is very delicious. I do like this. On a hot day, guys, this is really gonna refresh you. This is good. And you can get it here at the Smoke Jumpers Grill. So before you get on your flight, get yourself a blue Angelino cocktail. A lot of people have been asking me, what time does the park close? Because the hours did today. change. Yeah, it's a little bright. Sorry about that. 
uh, the hours did change, and sadly, right now, the park does close mm -hmm. at 7 o'clock. It closes yes. a little too early, I think, but the hours are going to change soon. You yes, said, uh, I heard May 14th that they're going to be opening at till 9 o'clock, so Ooh. look forward to that. I think it's May 14th, I have to double check, but I'm pretty sure they said May 14th. Yeah. The times change to like 9 o'clock. And that's going to be awesome. Nice. Yeah, because 7 o'clock yeah. is too early, 7 o'clock. Yeah, there's a little bit more time yeah. to play. I remember they used to um, <laughs> close at midnight, you Oh, remember? those were the best <laughs> times. So when they used to close at midnight, Janelle, would, uh, Janelle and I would watch the fireworks, mm -hmm. and then after fireworks, we'd go to Jolly Holidays and, and get just ourselves relax. a or sometimes nice we'd even little go cheese to the, sandwich. Yeah, sometimes we even go to... Um, the Starbucks is to mm -hmm. relax there. Yeah, and just sit there for a minute. <laughs> yeah, so hopefully those times come back when the park closes at midnight. Yeah. But right now, sadly, it's seven o'clock, but soon, nine o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna run away in five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> came to the adorable snowman frosted treats. Now this isn't a new one, but, it's, not, but it's so delicious and refreshing. Yeah. And we've been wanting this drink or <laughs> treat, should I say, for a while. That is the parfait. Look there it that. is. Mm. Doesn't this look cool? Look how big it is. <laughs> hey! I'm not, just kidding. <laughs> mm. I'm ready. <laughs> Look at this cute, adorable, frosted snowman parfait! Have you had this before? This is actually not new, but it's one of our favorite drinks to get and to cool us off here at California Adventure. If we're here and it's hot, and look, oh, oh no, come back here. Mm. Ooh, the chair was trying to escape. Uh-huh, not with me. Here we go. Mm. That lemony pineapple swirl is so delicious. <laughs> you can hear him talk. <laughs> Ooh, I need a. Here we go. Mmm. The blue is just like your blue icing. It's it's yet refreshing. It's like a blueberry, and then you have your lemon, and you have your pineapple. It's so yeah. refreshing and delicious. I like this because it's just like a blueberry icy. Mm -hmm. And then of course you have your lemon swirl, which is delicious. Kind of like a dough whip, but it, when you eat this, it kind of tastes like those old uh, Tweety Bird kind of ice creams that you get oh, from yeah. the ice cream yeah. truck, right? It literally does. Oh my gosh. Just takes me back to my childhood. Oh my gosh, it does. My hair has a little bit of pineapple on there. I don't taste the pineapple, but I do taste the lemon. Mm, and if you guys right. ever try these, you guys got to check them out. They're it does here. taste like the, the Tweety Bird uh, right? like ice cream. All of these is two little uh, gumballs like the, right there. The gumballs! <laughs> <laughs> and like the, the weird face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, this is such a delicious, cute drink that you should try here at California Adventure. Here at the adorable, adorable Frosted Snowman treats. <laughs> We're going on the swinging gondolas. <laughs> then I was like, oh no. Okay, but I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> we gotta get a load of that excitement of the swinging gondolas before you head out from California Adventure. Oh, it's you got this. You got this. Now Janelle is only riding the swinging gondolas because she made me ride a few attractions at Walt Disney World. <laughs> but I was kind of like, meh. And then... And I promised him I'll ride the... The, the, the swinging gondolas. The swinging gondolas <laughs> when we get back. We got this, guys. We got this. Thank you. We got a yellow swinging gondola. It kind of reminds you of the Skyliner at Disney World. <laughs> Thank you. It's gonna sit right here next across from you. <laughs> No, I don't know what the safe spot is. <laughs> All right, Janelle said she wanted to switch sides. So we switched sides before we started moving. <laughs> Making sure the coast is clear. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going up. Here they go. Whoa! <laughs> California screaming. It's like that. This me trying to hold it. <laughs> like that. You know what? I actually think the Skyliner is a lot more scary than this. The really Disney Skyliner? So? Yeah. Yeah, I think this so. This isn't that bad. This isn't bad, it's just the swing part. But again, if you don't want the swing part, don't do the swing part. They also have ones that don't swing. You should have done the little more bit right. Oh my goodness, this is so scary! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! It's like being on a swing, you know, like when you're a kid, you know, you just get on a swing, you go up and down. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh man. Oh, it's over. I can see the. It's over. See, see, it's done. There we go. We did it. You did it. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. Ice cream and like one last minute treat. Okay. <laughs> I'm down. Okay. So just thinking about it, that ride wasn't too bad right? because I had you with me to yeah. talk me through it. Although it did seem like I was like really like, you know, dramatic, but it just like. It feels like it feels good. Yeah, right. Like, I can it's do like, it again. Once you're and this done time and I know you faced your fears. Yeah. <laughs> it's like you come off feeling can, like, oh, yeah, I can this take time on I feel anything. I can do it again and expect what I, you know what I mean? Expect what's going to happen. So, yeah. will I write it again? Probably. <laughs> but probably just with you. <laughs> so, I'll be through it again. But yeah. it was so much fun. Right? Yeah. That's, it's a lot of fun. I'm glad <laughs> so you liked it. Thank you for being there for me. Oh, always. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna oh. go inside the trolley tree. Yeah. Disney, please bring back Clarabelle's and Missy ice cream. I love the like making your own ice cream bar. Oh, it's yeah. just your like topping your your chocolate. Remember that? I used to get cream. that little dark chocolate fudge yes. bar with Pop Rocks. Oh. <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> so good. Hopefully soon they'll open up again. Mm -hmm, hopefully. hopefully. Got this cute take a, a long treat pack and it has some gummy bears, some some Mickey, Mickey wow. che uh, cheese. Yeah, you got the little, well, they're like cheese it but without cheese the cheese. Cheese but the Mickey There's shaped. And the pretzels. Pretzels and yeah, some gummies. So this is a little take along treat pack. It doesn't have a price. It doesn't have a price. But, but it's cool. So like if you want to have something for the kids, well, there you go. A little treat. Pack. Yeah, a little packs of treats. All right, look at these guys. These are brand new treats here. And mini cake pops, chocolate cake pops. Oh, they're cute. So here at the trolley treats, they have these fun eat and repeat recyclable utensils. And look how cute these are. It comes yeah. with the reusable um, And I think these are straw. better than the ones we got, huh? I think so too. So I think I might grab these because it comes with the straw and like a fork, spoon, knife, and little straw cleaner. And it comes with this cute little pouch. I think you can also get this at Downtown Disney in the home store. So yeah, That's really cool. One. And look at this. They also have a straw. It comes in this little capsule. Yeah. Look at that. It's a straw. All these cute things like little placemats too. Ooh, I like this. Oh, I like face it. mats. You also have your portable water bottle. So once you're done, you can just roll it back in, put it in your backpack. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. That is really cool. So this guy is $7.99, if you wanted to know. And the utensils are $19.99. And annual pass holder discounts do apply. Ooh, these are cool. Those are pretty nice. Play, drink, repeat. Like they got more straws right here. <laughs> Comes a little Mickey pouch, too. These are $19.99. All right. Pretty cool. Look at this cute adorable cake pop now this cake pop is actually new and it's made of chocolate and look how cute she is i almost don't, don't want to eat it because she's so adorable but i'm gonna have to eat it after the whole you know <laughs> the whole thing over there this is definitely needed so think it's so like sweet and like super chocolate let me say oh my goodness this is such a sweet, decadent, rich chocolate I really enjoy. I mean, it does get a little like stuck in, around your mouth, but I'm, I'm not complaining. It's so sweet and nice. A little white chocolate on the ears, but look how cute she is. Oh my goodness. But some, some, um, I can't think today. Some, some milk. Some milk. <laughs> I was almost say milk chocolate. Some milk and this will pair so good together. Mm -hmm. mm. Every time I eat a cake, a cake pop, I have to have some milk or else it's just going to be too dry. Look at that. You see how rich that looks? Mm hmm. That mm -hmm. looks chocolatey. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> Chocolicious. Guys, we had such a fantastic time yes, here at did. Disney's California Adventure. We tried some delicious foods with you, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it helps you out for the next time you guys come uh -huh. to Disney's California Adventure. You know exactly what to try. Yes. We had a great time, like I said. Thank you guys for all the amazing comments. Thank you for all the likes, and we just want to say we love you guys, but we'll see you guys here next time on the, the wonderful, wonderful world of food. Bye. Bye.